Greetings from Copenhagen, Denmark. I am on a mission to visit the uh, the second oldest amusement park in the world, and that is in Copenhagen, Denmark. And it's just across the uh, main uh, central station over here. He just uh, he just cross this uh, cross over this road, and uh, we will get to the uh, ticket office. And I uh, I have the something called the Copenhagen card. And I will see. Uh, I will see how that goes. I will scroll. I will scroll that uh, Copenhagen card covers the uh, the admission fee. We will see. I have I have a Copenhagen card. Just uh, scan it. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. It's just uh, it's just a card like this one that you need to uh, that you need to scan like this one. It is a barcode. Uh, they, uh, but uh, keep in mind uh, the Copenhagen card only covers the admission fee, but it does not cover uh, the rights if you want to uh, if you want to take any ride uh, later on uh, after you uh, get in. And I am uh, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do what I do best, and that is uh, just uh, walk through this uh, beautiful uh, beautiful park. And as I said before, it's the uh, it's the oldest um, it's the second oldest park in the world, and it's uh, it's actually second to another park, which is also in uh, in Denmark. And this park is the uh, by the way, even though it's very old, it's the oldest uh, is one of the oldest, but it's still uh, operating by the way, and it's the only. Uh, the only old car uh, park that is still operating uh, even to this day and uh, right now it's summertime it's uh, a lot of people are out and about and today is uh, today is Saturday so I'm just gonna walk take you for a walk and uh, and explore explore this uh, beautiful place and uh, let you uh, let you see it as if you were here right just alongside me there is the uh, I think this is the main uh, fountain over here you know in uh, summertime is uh, we have very very long uh, daylights uh, right now is uh, seven o'clock uh, seven o'clock p.m. and uh, and as you can see it's still sunny and I was told that they have fireworks at 11:45 uh, p.m., just 15 minutes before uh, midnight. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay that long until midnight just to, uh, to watch the uh, to watch the fireworks. But what I'm gonna do, I do need to uh, I do need to go uh, eat, get some uh, uh, good meal. They say they have a lot of uh, beautiful restaurants uh, here. And I, uh, today is my first, uh, my first day in uh, in Copenhagen, and I am doing this video with a little bit, uh, with a little bit of uh, jet lag because I, uh, I flew all the way from uh, from the United States, so it's a little bit. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I need to acclimate myself to the new uh, to the new time zone and and the city. So that will take probably, that will take probably uh, 48 hours at least. And uh, there are so many, uh, so many rides. Uh, this will be heaven for you if you come, uh, if you come with uh, with uh, with your kids. And uh, and as a matter of fact, it's actually a fact. It's the. Uh, this park is the original ins inspiration for Walt um, Disney uh, World. Yeah. So if you've been to uh, Disneyland, this park that I am in right now is the original inspiration for Walt Disney. So uh, 
Wow, look at this. Uh, look at this uh, design, building design. It's so beautiful. Really beautiful. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know. I don't know which way I should go. I should. Uh, I should have picked uh, a map earlier when I got in. That will make the job uh, easy. But regardless, it's uh, it's still. Uh, it's always good to come into uh, an area for the first time and not knowing what to do. Look at this. Uh, I don't think I can take those kind of uh, rides. I get uh, I get dizzy. So beautiful over here. Let's go. Give you a view, looking just the top straight. It's so crowded because it's uh, it's Saturday night. A lot of people are uh, out and about. It's called Tivoli, Tivoli Garden. I'm not sure if I am, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's Tivoli. This is a uh, public uh, toilet here. Somebody pointed out to me that uh, I would probably spend at least uh, three hours to explore this uh, this area. It, even if I don't take, uh, if I don't take any ride, it's just it's good it's just to uh, to walk through and uh, explore. And this is another uh, this is another uh, uh, toilet. They also have a storage for your uh, luggage that you can uh, rent. This is the exit over here. It's a uh, it's a really huge place. It's easy, it's really easy to get lost here if you uh, if you don't have a map like what I am doing right now. But still, uh, this video will give you uh, will give you a good sense of what this place is like. You know, at least you know what uh, what you're gonna come across when you get here. If you're planning to, uh, if you're planning to visit uh, Copenhagen and uh, for uh, 
for like three days, four days, I really recommend you get the uh, Copenhagen card because it covers uh, it covers a lot of stuff, including the uh, including the transportation. Oh boy, it's getting loud here. really hard to do a walk and talk video in a loud in a noisy area such as this one because uh, I don't think you can hear me if I talk it's so noisy so I'm just gonna walk walk and say nothing stay silent look at this uh, look at this uh, I would imagine this is the the main the main uh, right here one of them one of the main rides I think they give you a discount if you have Copenhagen card if you uh, want to take any uh, any of those rides Copenhagen card just give you a free admission but it doesn't cover uh, it doesn't cover the, the the rides and here is it looks like it's a bar or a restaurant after I uh, wrap up this video I'm gonna go eat somewhere here it's a little bit expensive though so if you're trying to save money don't don't eat here it's a little bit uh, expensive I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up eating here kind of uh, a frugal guy I don't like to spend uh, I don't like to spend money if I am if I don't have to there's light uh, you can take light uh, meals over here it's, uh, reasonable prices if you don't want to sit down at uh, at a restaurant you can just grab yourself uh, a sandwich and this is the entry that, uh, that I went through earlier probably I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a, a map here good, good time to grab a map over here all right I grabbed uh, myself uh, a map I went back to the entry uh, back to the entry to grab a map it looks like it's a huge place and uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit uh, longer to explore the uh, the whole area so if you have plenty of time on your hand just uh, stick with me I'm not uh, this video is not uh, it's not over yet now that I have the map the job is getting easier now I uh, this is very very beautiful it looks like it's a nice very nice restaurant I'm not sure if I need uh, a reservation to get there or not but it's really 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 beautiful and they're performing some uh, some events uh, over there some music uh. let me uh, let me give you a view just gonna try to give you a peek inside I'm not gonna go inside just just to get an idea as to what this place is all about it's actually a hotel there you go it's called Nymph Hotel interesting hotel inside the inside the park but that one uh, 
the uh, the external patio is uh, probably uh, probably a restaurant, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a restaurant. They have French uh, cuisine. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a take a look. There's the uh, restaurants over there. I'm not gonna eat here, just want to get an idea. But anyway, this is one of your options if you want to eat something here. And now for some reason this spot is really uh is really crowded. It's a good uh Photo up over here. A lot, a lot of people are taking photos in front of this beautiful uh, castle. It looks like it's a castle to me. Let's get away from the crowd. There is a nice view over here. See now. Uh, this spot is to myself. Uh, all that crowd right now is uh, is gone. The one that you saw earlier. So I'm just here by myself. Really, really uh, beautiful uh, spot here to capture a nice uh, photo. Oh boy, there is no shortage of uh, of nice places here. Every time I uh, I uh, end the filming, I, I uh, turn off the camera. I keep uh, turning it on, turning it back on, because uh, there is no shortage of uh, beautiful places to to film here. I would be uh, remiss if uh, if I came all uh, all the way to this place and not uh, not film the whole thing. This is a beautiful garden here. Actually, it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant, but let's let's uh, let's get uh, let me try to give you a peek. Uh, I'm gonna try to raise the, the the camera over here. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. You see, probably you're getting a better view than than uh, than I am getting. And the view that I am getting right now because I can't uh, see what's going on probably I need to uh, I need to get in let me let me ask what's uh, what is this place uh, is this a restaurant or uh, this is a food court so different restaurants oh, you just okay. check them out if you like so it's like uh, okay it's like too like many a food options. market yeah yeah it's different stuff it's actually quite nice nice and different and things and what time do they close? It's 10, I think so. Uh, it's Today it closes at 11. Yeah. Oh, 11, okay, I still yeah. have time. You have to be there before 10.30. Okay, thank you. Awesome. All right, you heard, uh, you heard that. It's basically, it's a food court. It's a, it's a food court. You, uh, you get in, you get in there, and then you, you will have a lot of options to eat. Probably that's what I'm gonna do after I am done with uh, with uh, with my exploring but uh, I need to go to one more place one more place all the way to the uh, all the way to the corner there is a nice uh, nice building and I'm not sure what that is oh this is another uh, 
how you got this is another entry basically there are uh, I think there are two entries to the to this uh, to this park I think this is the main one the one that I went through earlier is not the main one but this is the main one you see it's really nice uh, nice gate and just uh, off to the left there is a nice uh, restaurant you know this is what I am struggling with uh, uh, finding a place to uh, to eat to get a nice bite I'm really picky when it comes to uh, food options some places are very very expensive and uh, you don't get uh, good quality good quality of uh, food and that's what I'm trying to uh, avoid but it takes a lot of efforts to find a good place you have to read reviews and all that kind of stuff and I don't have time to do all this uh, stuff all right here is another one another restaurant and just uh, just off to the left from the entry from the entrance that you saw earlier and uh, let's let's keep uh, let's keep going and I'm gonna point the camera to this direction to let you see uh, let you see what you're gonna come across when you want to uh, when you actually want to eat something at this park sometime in the future the weather is very very uh, very nice really nice today perfect uh, time to eat uh, outside get yourself a nice table outside and it's not raining much to my delight and surprise it's not uh, it's not raining today and that is uh, that is another beautiful uh, beautiful restaurant yeah there is no shortage of uh, restaurants but the tough part is uh, which one which one is the best and that depends on what kind of food you you prefer you know the answer varies depending on uh, on each person all right I uh, I think I uh, I shared uh, almost uh, most of the uh, of the park with you and I'm sure uh, there is more uh, to this to uh, discover you will be able to discover more when you come uh, when you come to this place at some point in the future but uh, for now I think uh, I think I'm gonna take a, a break uh, over here with uh, with those people and uh, and then I'm gonna go eat all right I ended up uh, eating at an Italian restaurant it's a really really good restaurant and uh, on my way uh, on my way out I uh, I see this beautiful uh, this beautiful spot for uh, photos as you can see a lot of people are taking photos I'm gonna share with you what I see and this is a really really beautiful uh, view over here you can just stand here and uh, take a take a nice uh, photo and on the other side there is a, a small lake over here really really beautiful and uh, anyway folks I think I'm gonna wrap up this uh, video uh, for now I, I really hope you enjoy this uh, uh, video so if you like it uh, please uh, give me a, a thumbs up uh, I really appreciate it for now have a have a wonderful day take uh, take good care bye bye